Who is that? I can't see in that old dark car who that is. I'll have to maybe the police. No, I see. I see a glimmer of somebody that looks like a steel guitar player. Well, he's shutting her down, boys and girls. Anticipation is making me wait. Stu Basor! Yeah, let's hear it for Stu. Brother Vast, you're looking yes, yes, good. Yes. Hey, Jim. How you Morning, doing, brother? Good. Give me a hug. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see Stu, you. Stu, get up here, buddy. I know. I'm just watching that. Watching the action there. <laughs> How you doing, partner? I'm great. I got a couple more of our you. buddies on the way over, and they should be pulling up any minute. All right. That's old Tommy coming in. Tommy, is that you? That's me, baby. He's got his hair cold. He looks like he's had a bath in the. <laughs> Look at here. That's what was salvaged after... Uh, Look here, that's how he looked when he was young. <laughs> when I got this one, the only pedals, the only thing had pedals was rollers. <laughs> <laughs> and a few bicycles. Uh, and a few bicycles. Most of them were pushed. Yeah. <coughs> All right. But that one's been ever pushed. Isn't that, is that one played with Hank Sr.? The guitar and, and the plate. And Junior. And Junior. Who played on Walking After Midnight? Good, about 110. Walking After Midnight? Never. Curtis Chalker. No, that one. No, that guitar right there. This one right here. Was that you? Yeah. I thought it was. Oh. Uh, the first two or three that I had invited to be on the show played there. I knew you and I did, but yeah. I didn't know that he yeah. has. Yeah, I did. I did. I two of them. Stu's the only outcast. Stu's the only outcast. And I like Charlie a lot, too. He's a good fellow. <laughs> I like Charlie a lot, too. That's on camera. You love him real good. Well, I do. He helped me out when I was he up there. Did. Had no reason to because I'm playing Brand X, according to him. But yeah. he helped me get some pickers together and everything and do a thing. I was in a tight. Charlie showed up with a vocalist, guitar player, a drummer, bass player, and a PA set. And, he, and I'm not even playing his guitar. That's, that's, right. that's a plug for Charlie. Well, you have kind of played. Oh, we can start moving stuff in here if you guys want to. Start moving stuff in, boys, and get our stuff set up. Mine's already in. This is one of the first of the uh, video shoots for Legend of the Steel Guitar. I've uh, asked some of my friends to come up and be with us and share some of their life and some of their licks and uh, uh, we hope that we're going to give you some things that will give you a great insight to the steel guitar and some of its wonderful players and I'm glad I can say some of my dearest friends. One of my, my first guests today is uh, Don Helms and Don uh, started out a few years back with a with a fellow that wrote some pretty good songs, Hank Williams Sr. And of course he's kept the whole family alive and fed since then. <laughs> Don say hi to everybody. It's good to be here, Jim. Yeah, At my buddy. age it's good to be anywhere. Good to be anywhere, <laughs> I understand. And uh, what year was it when you first started with uh with Hank? I started with Hank Williams in nineteen forty three, during the latter oh, part of three. World War Two. Yeah. And uh I went into the service myself and came out in two years and went back to Hank. Right after that, he went to Shreveport and I didn't go. And then he he said, one day I'm going to the Grand Ole Opry and I'm not going to let you off. So he called me and said, get up there, I'm on the Opry. And so I did and here I am. And what year was that now, the Opry thing? 1949. 1949. Boy, boy, boy. Great times. Great times. We're going to be talking a lot more with Don and, uh, and showing you some of the things that Don has done through the years with 
with great intros and licks and some of the other people that he's worked with too. And we've got a bright young star with us tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you Tommy, are young Tommy star. Williams is, I mean Tommy Williams, not <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Williams. White. Tommy, if you if you if you ever see this, you'll know that I was thinking about you, buddy. We all love you too. Yeah. Anyway, Tommy White is with us, and uh, Tommy's from Louisville, Kentucky. As I'm from Louisville, by well, I'm from Alabama by way of Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, Tommy, when did you really start uh, playing? I've been playing all my life. Actually, my dad was a steel player hobbyist, and at times he 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 played for money, but uh, I, I was raised with it pretty much. I remember when he used to bring you down to Printer's Alley and you was too young to be up in oh. the honky tonk like that. Yeah. And you'd yeah. get up, you know, want somebody to show you a lick and there wasn't nobody could show you a lick. You were showing us yeah. a lick. Oh, that's <laughs> done wood still that way. He's oh. eating them up just like uh, cereal in the morning without the milk. I mean, he's wearing it out and he still is. And, and we're going to steal some stuff from him today. We're going to pick his brain just a little bit. Plus, we're going to find out a whole lot more what happened from I played all my life. He's played with some great people and... Uh, and he's also been places he's not going to want to talk about, but I'll get it out of it. <laughs> and next to me is Stu Basor that has been around uh, for a long time, like myself, and has played with so many people that uh, we'll, we'll get around to naming a bunch of them. Stu, good to have you with us, buddy. Thank you, buddy. You're the only nice one I can reach. <clears throat> That's it. That's well, what, we'll, we'll all shake I'll it out after the midwife. Sure, there you right, go. You know. But anyway, uh, just mention a few of the people that you well, work with. They, as, and uh, like everybody in the room, we've all had a chance to work with a great number of the great artists one yeah, of my uh, I was with Kitty Wells for a number of years yeah. and uh, that was kind of how I've, I, I got here working with uh, George Hamilton the fourth with Pap Wilson's band and <clears throat> doing some tours for uh, for uh, Lucky Moulder and, and the talent agency I can't even remember but we prevent we provided the band like for Tex Ritter and different people who'd go out on these package shows and then in 60, it was 64, and that's just right around the time I met you is when I started with Kitty right. Wells because you were with Pee -wee you King. were with Pee Wee King in Louisville, and we yeah. came up and did the same show, and you were on it. Was it the Philip Morris show? I can't remember. Out the now, that's, now, that's a while back, old yeah. son. That was Wavy TV. I think it was WAVE. Wavy TV, yeah, WAVE. And, uh, but, so I've known you a number of years. It's, more, it's almost 40 years. Yeah, I get oh. That's great. Time flies. But it's wonderful to have friends like this, and I'm very fortunate to have a quite a few friends and we're going to have all of them for it's over with and uh, make sure that we get this in the video and if y'all miss something or somebody that we may miss after a few shots or if there's somebody you'd like to see or questions you'd like to ask as we go through these we'll try to answer some of these questions for you not only on this this video but on the other videos that will follow because we're gonna we're gonna get all the legends and the great young people and the people who have been around like me and Stu in these videos and uh, you're going to look forward to it. I promise you a good show. And I